Howdy folks. Today I want to do a little bit of live modeling. I've got a uh, Marantz 4100 amplifier on the bench that uh, came to me with no knobs. And uh, while I'm waiting for some uh, repops to come in, I thought I would print up a few just to have something to uh, play with the controls. So, being that I was doing some modeling, I thought I would uh, go ahead and walk through that on video because, hey, why not? So to start off with, uh, I took the uh, dimensions off the uh, off of a uh, knob from another receiver across uh, Marantz. They're uh, pretty pretty similar. So they're twenty millimeters high. Diameter is twenty four. Got a chamfer of a uh, one millimeter by one millimeter on the. Uh, top corner. There's a notch in them that is a millimeter wide. It is about half a millimeter deep. And then up on top it goes four millimeters in. And then this goes on a uh, post that has 18 teeth and let's see is there anything else we need uh, the post diameter is six millimeters so let's start by making the uh, main body this is going to be a cylinder Okay, so that'll get us started. And then uh, let's do this. We will start by subtracting out the post hole. Set our number of facets to our number of teeth. Oops, what was wrong with this? Cylinder D H. Oh, that. There we go. All right. So now we can see we have our hole that goes all the way through. So now that we have that. Let's add that uh, chamfer on top. That a shot. Er, what did I screw up? That's right. We need these not to be subtracted. These are added together. And then everything else is subtracted. There we go. So now we have our chamfer on top. We have our hole that goes up but does not pop out the top. And let's see. Let's uh, play with the notch here. there. 
And then to get the top, let's uh, start by, let's see. So that's looking pretty good overall. Run it on up. There we go. All right, and then last, let's smooth it all out. Look at that. Under that up. All right. So you can see we've got our eighteen facets in here so that it uh, sits nicely on the uh, 18 spline or 18 tooth spline shaft and then we've got our little notch here and the outer surface is nice and smooth so yeah pretty happy with that so i think that will uh, do for today thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one